What you're looking at here is the underside of a twin-engined Piper Turbo Aztec. As you can see, the gear was retracted and is now dropping down into place as we make an approach for a landing in a mountain airport in Colorado in the autumn time frame. Various points throughout the movie I will be playing back at a high speed and then slowing down to the normal rate. That way we'll get a good overview of the entire approach as well as uh, being able to see the, the critical parts. At this point we're beginning to join the downwind leg of the airport traffic pattern that will parallel the runway and we will be landing to the west. At this point you can see the runway environment coming into view. This is the final leg of the approach. It was at about this point that I was seeing something that looked unusual about the situation, so instead of touching down, I elected to go around. It was impossible to see back there with a the camera, but right now you'll see coming into view two antelope. They're crossing the runway. They disappeared underneath, and of course we can go around to make another attempt at this. Probably would have not been able to stop, so the decision to go around was a good one. At this point, we're gaining altitude. We'll be retracting the gear, and we'll go around to make another approach. I should also mention that I was not at all surprised to see antelope on the runway here. It is a comment in the pilot's airport facility directory for this particular field that there may be wildlife on the runway. It's pretty common to see this uh, type of occurrence, especially in rural or mountain fields. But as pilots, we should always be ready to go around if there is something on the runway or if something just isn't right. As you can see, we are on short final again for runway 22 at Walden. Pay particular attention to the wheels and tires. As we near and then touch the ground, you'll see there's a little bit of smoke that is emitted from the, the nose wheel. And this is natural and something that happens really on every aircraft that lands at this speed or higher. It went from zero miles an hour to over 60 in this particular aircraft so that wheel and tire spools up very quickly and it's nice to be able to see that in this view. I'll leave you with two photos taken from the cockpit and some slow motion footage from the belly cam of the antelope as we're passing overhead. <laughs> 